Okay, what we're going to do is make a feeder bucket for the chickens instead of buying those other ones that gets water in and everything else. I bought these things here, and what I'm going to do is put these in a bucket and a lid, and it's a, like an enclosed feeder. First thing you need to do is go from the bottom of the bucket, about three inches down, and then measure it which is going to be about the same. I'm just doing it. Measuring it says it's about 33 inches. You go about three to four inches from the bottom of the bucket and make a mark. Now considering this is 34 inches, you divide pi into it for make it three. So that's approximately 10 inches a piece is what we're going to do. So we're going to start here. We're going to go three inches down mark it here as a reference from that point we're going to make it about 10 inches which is here make it about three inches down as a reference and then go from the other side again approximately 10 inches which is here about three inches down doesn't have to be perfect a chicken feeder. Next thing, when I bought these, it came with the hole saw. Now we're going to drill a hole into the bucket. I can tell it's a china. Okay, hopefully that's tight enough. Not really. Okay. Got to go slow. Okay, here's the first hole. Second hole. Third hole. Okay, there's three holes. Now we have a bucket like that. This here has a ring, a nut on it. So take the nut off. Put an O-ring on it to seal it. Take the nut, put it in the bucket. And then just screw her down. Screw it hand tight, and that's all you need. There's one done already. Right there. Now we're going to do the number two. Same thing. Just put an O-ring on it. And I know it's a flat surface going into a, a curve, and it doesn't get flush, but like I said before, it's a chicken feeder. It's good enough. Okay, there's number three. We're doing now. I bought this set from them. It came with six of these off of Amazon. And it came with the circle saw too. It was around 20 bucks is how much I paid. Then just use a bucket which you can get for a few dollars or free. Okay. And then also on this, when you have food inside, make sure that's tight, yeah. When you have food inside, 
if you don't want them to or little rodents to get in and you're not using it you got these little caps you can put in so it seals it so nothing can get into it so after you're done with this what we're going to use is this lid and we've took it off now this ring here really seals to the bucket and it's a pain to get on and it's a real pain to ever get off. Ah, got that on. It's almost on. Well, it's on except that little bit. Oh, here. I'm going to use where it's more stable. I'm going to use it on the hard floor so I can push down at the same time. Ah, popped on. Look at that. Now, that lid, that ring is sealed around this bucket. Really good. And then you put the feet in, screw the lid on, there's your feeder, you can hang it, put it on a brick, ever what you want to do when you need to feed them. Take the lid off, dump the food in, and you're all set. That's how you build a, a feeder. It's a lot better than a $28 feeder that when it rains, all the water gets in it and destroys all your feet. This here, when it rains, very little water ever gets in from this right here. And it protects everything, too, the way it's made. And the chickens don't waste your food. It doesn't scratch it out at all. Okay, that's how you do a chicken feeder. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel, that would help us out. Thank you.